Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Sniper Elite V2 Remastered on the GTX 1050 Ti. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. First of all, thanks to the publisher for providing a copy of the game. This remaster will be releasing on May 14th. If you own the original version on Steam, there should be a discount available for this remaster. The graphics options menu is pretty much like it was before, but now there are graphical improvements. I mostly noticed this on shadows, ambient occlusion, textures and main characters. I'm sure there will be many graphics comparisons on YouTube by the time this is uploaded. Due to these improvements I saw much higher VRAM usage and lower frame rates compared to the original to be expected, but it's not a gigantic performance downgrade for what I played so far. I decided to test one of the first missions where I had performance issues in the original game. Looking far into the distance with the scope used to tank my performance significantly. It still happens here, it's not as noticeable as before, so keep that in mind. In certain areas, zooming in can hit performance quite a bit. For a performance improvement, I'll first lower the compute shaders option, so you get a few extra FPS, with a visual difference that is hard to tell. This will affect the HDR bloom and the quality of the depth of field effects, which was patched into the original game back in 2012 for DirtX 11 cards. Then shadow quality and ambient occlusion will also help you out. Other than that, there is not much else that you can tweak to get a massive improvement in FPS. I recommend avoiding the super sampling option though, it will destroy your performance, but with it, aliasing will be pretty much gone. Unless you have a ton of GPU power to spare, keep it disabled. So yeah, not much else to say really, the game runs fantastically well. It's the same game from 2012, so I wasn't expecting a massive difference, but it would have been nice to get more detailed X-ray cameras from Sniper Elite 4, that would have been amazing in this game. But anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time!